President Trump, welcome back to Meet the Press. Thank you, and thank God you got rid of that Chuck Dodd guy. What a loser, am I right? There are a number of things that make your campaign unprecedented. You are facing four indictments. And don't forget, twice impeached. Why do you want to be president again? Basically because I'm trying to stay out of prison. I've been saying that since I launched my campaign. You told the crowd, quote, I am your retribution. What does that mean? What does that look like? I'm a huge fan of retribution and everyone that's crossed me is going straight to jail. Are you looking to appoint an attorney general who will prosecute and go after your political enemies? Yes, very much I am. Governor McCarthy announced that he was launching an impeachment inquiry. Finally, it was my idea, you know. Do you see this as a part of the retribution that you see? Yes, most definitely. Did you talk to Speaker McCarthy? Yes, absolutely. I told him he should impeach Sleepy Joe right away. Talk to your Republican allies on Capitol Hill? Yes, of course, obviously. You know, this is one of the most easiest interviews I've done in a while. You know, you can definitely do better. I was impeached for a perfect phone call, and Sleepy Joe, Joe Biden, is guilty, stone cold guilty, and and you too, Mrs. Spears. Death to all of them. Mr. President, let me take a step back here. I've been traveling to a lot of the early voting states, and they say that your focus on the past is a problem for them. Well, I have no focus on the past. I don't even remember the past. Why well, dwell in the past? Unless it's about the rigged 2020 election, because I got notes on that, and I hope you have time. I hope you have time. Well, I really do. I really do. You are facing... Four indictments. Biden indictments. Hashtag Biden indictments. Get it trending, folks. You know, the Republicans and Biden, I'm beating all of them. And that's what this is really Mr. about. Mr. President, tell me what you see when you look at your mugshot. Well, I see a phenomenally handsome man. A 10, if you ask me. Let's move on to January 6th. The most senior lawyers in your own administration told you that after you'd lost more than 60 legal challenges, that it was over. Allegedly. Why did you ignore that? Because them? I wanted them to tell me what I wanted to hear. You know, if you pay enough money, people will were do that. Were you listening to them because they were telling you what you wanted to hear? Yes, I literally just said that. You know, and a lot of people are saying it. A lot of people are saying it was rigged. Even though, again, your lawyers told you you did not. No, 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 you, blah, blah, blah. I can't hear you. All I needed was 22,000 votes and I would have won. Are you saying you needed those votes in order to win? Are you acknowledging you didn't win? Excuse me. I see what you're doing. You're trying to trick me. I'm the one who said it was rigged. And if I say anything else under oath at a later date, whatever I just said right now is null and void. You were listening to your instincts. Yes, I thought I won, so I said I did. And if you add it all up, it was rigged. I won. I wanted to go down to the Capitol that day. And they said I strangled a secret service officer there's literally no proof of that take me to the capitol now nope this car's going back to the white house no no i want to go to the capitol donald you know better we talked about I this i want to coup with everyone else i said no coups today the young man no I, buts i want to keep being the president sir sir get your hands off the steering wheel to Guys dispute that account. I took on a guy with a black belt in karate. Look what other people are saying. Nancy Pelosi is really to blame for January 6th. Shit. Did you call military or law enforcement? Well, I didn't have to. I behaved so well that day. I did such a good job is what Melania said. Nancy Pelosi is to blame for January 6th. She had control over Why the Capitol. Help in that moment, Frankly, though. I wanted to see how it would all play out. It didn't go our way, but we'll get them next time, boys. Mr. President, if you were reelected, would you pardon yourself? Uh, pardon me? Would you pardon yourself? Pardon me? I, I, I didn't catch that. Would you pardon yourself? I think I've answered your question. Thank you, Mr. President. You. I really appreciate it. No, thank you. And live from New York, it's Saturday night!